but I'm just telling y'all that's the kind of energy we have in the world today and you still have to figure out how to maneuver through this negative energy Hey, thank you for joining me today on In My Zone. I'm Patricia Tone and I am coming to you today to talk about some things that a lot of people might not agree with. And that is, if you are a young adult between the ages of 18 to 25, let me talk to you today. I want to say, don't let your parents stop you from your dreams. Don't let your parents stop you from your dream. A lot of kids nowadays... Well, not nowadays, but a lot of kids, offsprings, are very talented. You have an idea, you want to see it come to fruition, you want to be able to follow your dreams, the visions and the ideas and the things that God has put in your head because you are a creative being. You have ideas and it doesn't necessarily have to be in the arts. I see these TikToks with these kids and these babies and they have unique gifts. Don't let anyone stop you from your unique gift. Listen up. Do not let these ordinary people stop you from your gift. First of all, half of them mad that they didn't follow their dreams. Half of them mad that they didn't get to their goals. Half of them mad that they didn't have a goal. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. And let me tell you how to do it. You know, because it's, it's really, really difficult. You know, I had a dream of coming to LA not even at that time being interested in entertainment I just wanted to move I did not want to die in Texas that was my ulterior motive not to die in Texas because I had lived there all my life I grew up there that was all fine and dandy but what I was was the oldest of four and always around being the oldest of five most of the time in my life and then it became the oldest of six and seven and eight people that I sometimes had to be aware of and know where they were and take care of them and all of that stuff so I was drained as a child from watching other people's kids and so because I was the oldest or I am the oldest, everybody just automatically thought I wanted to be their babysitter. Biggest lie ever. I did not want to watch anybody's children. And so a lot of times I would make vision boards and vision uh, photo albums. At the time we used the old photo albums. I think they still kind of, some people still use them. And I would have all these things about modeling and uh, dancing and traveling the world in that booklet. People saw that I had a dream and a goal and, and it seems like everybody did everything they could to stop me from doing what I felt God had put in my heart. And so at 20 years old, I was making a plan to leave Texas. I knew I needed to get out of that city if I wanted to have a sane, somewhat fulfilled life. My goal was to leave Texas, you know, and so I decided to come to L.A., and when I made that decision, I can't even explain how many adjectives people use to uh, talk about me. Crazy, insane, retarded, stupid, dumb, just out of my head. Every negative connotation you could think of, that's what people use to describe me for wanting to leave Texas and moving to Los Angeles. And the only two people that wished me luck were my grandparents. My grandmother said, Tishan, Tishan, I wish I could go with you. 
and my grandfather said go out there and live your life and that's what I tried to do and I've been trying to do ever since now don't get me wrong I got lonely discouraged crying depressed and tried to go back to Texas to stay permanently three times but every time I went back to Houston I was depressed I stopped being joyful I gained weight it was just not good for me and so I came back again and and all of that, I think I have now been here 30 years, even with the years in between that I left. I am still a 30 year person resident of Los Angeles, California. And I have been through hell and back and hell and back again and hell and back again. But I knew and I know this is where I am supposed to be. And so I say this to all of you who are 18 to 25, go do what you're supposed to do. These people are going to try to stop you. They're going to do everything possible to be in your way. And don't let them do it. And here's what hurts me. A lot of times it's your family members. And this is what's sad about it. They don't even understand that you could be on the brink of, of changing the world, changing situations, changing atmospheres, changing other people's lives. They're going to look at it and take it personally, and I don't understand that. One day I heard one of my relatives say, I don't, I don't even want them talking to you because you might try to get them to move to L.A. What the entire suck are you talking about? So people, as I realized in the conversations when I would go back home, they would secretly and 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 sometimes on um, purposely revealed that they didn't even want other people to communicate with me and my own family like I'm some kind of persuader or some kind of mind manipulator over people and it just breaks my heart and you know to have people to um, kind of crucify my image, my name, my personality is very, very hurtful. I'm going to just tell y'all, it's very hurtful because I've prone myself to be trustworthy, honest, um, a person you could depend on, a person you could talk to. And I've thrived on that, you know, being the person God made me to be, this fiduciary person, so to speak, this confident person most of the time, but a person who also believed in helping others. And so when I hear these things, from my own family members, it is heartbreaking, you know. And I thank God, I do, I thank God I grew up around my grandparents and my grandmother's siblings because she had some sisters and brothers and they just was like, F all of them, you know. <laughs> Don't nobody care what they have to say. F all of them. And so that became my mantra. F, F y'all. I'm going to do what feels good in my heart, in my mind, and my spirit. You know, I didn't let them break me, y'all. I didn't let them break me. They tried. Even outsiders, they tried. You know, when I go to places and, you know, the first thing they love to do is attack black women with the angry black woman, you know, mantra, moniker, you know. I would have these people who, once they meet me, they look at me and they're like, wait a, wait a damn minute somebody lied on you you're nothing like I expected I can't even tell y'all how many times people have told me that and and they didn't mean to be you know to I guess say it I don't even know how to, to say it I guess they 
somebody turned a light on on me in the car in front of me and uh, he's getting in the car now he's looking at me as I'm trying to film and he's just standing there so it's probably gonna take him a minute and he has these lights on on me as I'm filming so now the lights going off but they're gonna come back on because he's leaving but uh, let me see he might surprise me uh oh uh oh he didn't turn the lights on on me I am just sitting here in shock because you know people are hateful nowadays but I gotta take that back I gotta regurgitate that he did good so anyway um I forgot where it was. You know, people will try to stop you from following your dreams, your desires, you know, in every field. You know, you can... One thing I've always loved, I watch biographies, and you all have to go and do that. If you don't get motivated from watching biographies on people, I don't know what else will motivate you, baby. I love autobiographical films and you know there I used to watch them on YouTube you can watch clips if you don't want to watch the whole thing you will be amazed at how some of these people have gone through hell and high water and they kept going and they never gave up and we would never know or have known who they were if they would have given up but if you once you start listening to other people's story it's going to be a motivator for you it's going to be inspirational and that's what I do a lot of the times you know you listen at how other people had to overcome their struggles and their hatredness towards them and evilness towards them and all of that you know but if you're 18 or 25 let me tell you what to do when you find yourself conflicted with somebody and they're trying to stop you have a meeting with them call your mama your daddy your sister your friend or whoever it is into a meeting and say look this is how I'm feeling right now. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm trying to do. This is the energy I'm getting from you. And I can't use that energy right now. If you can't be on the level that I'm trying to do for my life, like I'm on the level that uh, you need for your life, this is not going to work. Our relationship will not work. It's going to take some guts. It's going to take some balls. It's going to take huge energy to tell these people that but you have to do it they either with you or they against you and what we find out secretly later on is that they were against you so if you have these meetings and these conversations with people say hey I'm trying to do this 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 and that you know um, I like you but I love me more you have to take that I love me more stance and stop letting people spew their trash and their negativity onto you just don't tolerate it and if you're in a position where you have to keep dealing with people like that start making your plan right now to escape start making your plan to get out and let me tell you it's easy to do you just got to be consistent because I was homeless, right? And everybody was looking at me and talking about me, but I was sitting there still trying to figure out how I can get out of being homeless, right? And so I didn't buy any extra anything. I was eating peanut butter and jelly. I was eating peanut butter crackers. I was eating everything from the, the 99 cent store and I was sitting in this car and saved my money. I was sleeping in the car. I saved my money. And I even tried to have a fundraiser while I was homeless and it didn't work out. And I just kept going. You know, everybody was talking bad about me and down about me. And guess what? I was already used to that, baby. You already didn't said everything you had to say to me when I wasn't going through the struggle. So now that I'm in the struggle, whatever you say, it don't even matter no more because I'm used to all that negativity from those people. 
So baby, I laid in the back seat of my car and I would put my movies on and I was watching uh at that time I I distinctly remember watching uh Bruce Willis's movie Live Free and Die Hard. I must have watched that movie about a cabillion damn times. I think I know all the words to that movie because I had this little portable DVD. I would charge it up at the library and at night I would play my DVDs and that Live Free Die Hard was the movie back then I love me some Bruce Willis and I watched that movie so much I, I'm trying to tell y'all and I think I love action movies I, I, I love cop and action movies because they always get their man in the end you know they always get it in the end they end up being the winner you know bruce willis ain't gonna stop until he wins and i think that's what i love about those kind of movies he gonna crawl through some air ducts he gonna blow something up he gonna fall out of something and still get back up to get that man baby he is going to win in the end and that's what we have to do in life we have to win in the end because they don't want us to win and you know how you're going to win? By making a declaration not to accept others, other people's poop. And then you have to start learning how not to tell everybody your dreams and goals. They used to say, yeah, tell everybody. Uh-uh. The world has changed. It has changed. Now everybody's jealous and envious of you for whatever color lipstick you wear nowadays. You know, so work in silence. But you make a declaration to those people that you have to deal with. Let them know where you're coming from up front. So that way, when you do get to where you're going, they start talking and bragging. No, 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 no. You didn't try to help me. Don't try to take credit now. Do what you need to do to get where you want to go. But do it with honesty and integrity. Because that's going to win in the end. It always wins in the end. Because when people know they can trust you. I have people today right now, they'll call me. They can call me. They know they can call me. Give me the keys to their house, the keys to their car. They can go out of town. And when they come back, it's going to be the same way they left. Because they know that I am that type of person. An honest person. A caring person. A giving person. But I'm just telling y'all, that's the kind of energy we have in the world today. And you still have to figure out how to maneuver through this negative energy. You can do it. You can do it. 18 to 25 year olds, make your plan and make it plain. Write it down and make it plain. All right, that's all I have for y'all today. I got to go back to work. Thank you for watching In My Zone. I'm Patricia Tone, and I hope to see you next time. Leave a comment and let me know how difficult it has been for you trying to get to where you want to go. You know, I might have an, a solution for you. I might, I can help you with some ideas because I haven't been all the way down, baby. But you see, everybody talking about don't talk to people that don't have no money. Hey, the people who don't have no money and they still alive, them the people you need to talk to because they know how to come out of a damn hole, baby. I know how to get out of a hole. All right, okay. Thank you. Take care. See you next time.